Welcome to this virtual open house. My name is Dr. David Gerard. I'm, I'm going to be acquainting with you all with the University of Wisconsin uh, Division of Urologic Oncology over the next few minutes. To continue this discussion, I'll introduce you to Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, Madison is one of the routinely ranked as one of, one of the best places in the United States to live. Uh, it's a great quality of life here. This is a picture looking downtown at the Capitol. Uh, and in the foreground is actually our convention center. So the university itself sits at the edge of the campus of the University of Wisconsin. Uh, the medical center is uh, associated with a cancer center uh, that is shown uh, in the center here. Uh, the Cancer Center consists of several large research buildings, uh, which are on the right. This is our Department of Urology. This was not taken this year due to the COVID crisis, but uh, we currently have over 20 urologists. Uh, we also have 15 residents and two fellows. The Urologic Oncology Division consists of five individuals, and I'll briefly introduce those. Uh, we work very closely with the residents, and the residents really have a great opportunity to learn uh, the field of urologic oncology, uh, working with each of us who specialize in different areas to a large extent. Uh, introducing myself, I'm the vice chair of uh, urology, and uh, also have a position as associate director at our Carbone Cancer Center. Uh, I had done a fellowship uh, focusing in urologic oncology and really work in clinical trials, uh, improving prostate cancer detection, as well as developing new ways of treating more advanced prostate cancer. Uh, the residents are involved in a lot of these trials and they're great opportunities for them uh, to publish papers based on uh, results of these trials. Uh, Jason Abel has an interest in kidney cancer, uh, both from a clinical research standpoint, uh, as well as translational research. Uh, he uh, did his fellowship at MD Anderson and has been with us uh, over 10 years now. Dr. Tracy Downs is one of our bladder cancer experts. Uh, he is also an associate dean at the University of Wisconsin School of Medicine. He is the uh, director uh, of uh, our superficial bladder cancer program. And a lot of his clinical research looks at outcomes uh, as well as improving intravesical therapy. Our other bladder cancer specialist is uh, Dr. Kyle Richards, who uh, serves also as the chief of the VA hospital. The VA hospital is a great opportunity uh, for the residents to really function uh, in a very uh, autonomous manner and they also uh, have an opportunity to uh, work uh, with a broad range of uh, urologic oncology. Uh, Dr. Richard's research is primarily in uh, public health, looking at efficiency and quality of care. We're also joined by uh, Dr. Tudor Borza, uh, who joined us uh, just over a year ago. Uh, he uh, primarily works uh, with a number of different areas of urologic oncology, and his research is interested in health sciences research as well as health policy. So our program uh, focuses on a number of cutting-edge procedures. We actually developed the hand-assist nephrectomy at the University of Wisconsin. Uh, we additionally uh, have a number of uh, uh, robotic uh, devices here. Uh, do a lot of robotic surgery, but I think one thing that's unusual about our program is that we still do a fair amount of open surgery, and the residents do get an opportunity to perform a number of radical prostatectomies, uh, open cystectomies, and nephrectomies, uh, which I think in this day and age is very important uh, when looking at a training program. In addition, uh, if this is a very high volume program. We are a tertiary and quat quaternary care referral center uh, for uh, surrounding the surrounding states and the state of Wisconsin. We also have a multidisciplinary approach, which the residents uh, have an opportunity to participate in. Uh, this includes uh, interactions with 
medical oncologists. We have five uh, genitourinary specialized medical oncologists. Uh, we have uh, several pathologists as well as uh, several radiation therapists who are focused on urologic disease. Uh, this is complemented by research programs, which again, provide the residents with a number of opportunities for publications and paper presentations. The oncology program is closely linked and adjacent to the uh, University of Wisconsin Carbone Comprehensive Cancer Center. Uh, this is one of the uh, strongest cancer centers in the United States. Uh, as you can see here, there's about 150 million uh, in funding annually here. The, the center provides a lot of clinical trial support uh, for the oncology program. and really attracts a great group of colleagues uh, for the residents to interact with as well. This is a list uh, of a no number of conferences uh, that we have. Uh, on Monday um, afternoon, we have a uh, genital urinary oncology uh, working group uh, where we uh, review papers, look at specific oncology uh, trials, and also discuss research. Uh, this is really focused just on urologic oncology, and generally our residents on the Red Service will join us. Uh, Wednesday, we have our grand rounds and uh, conferences. Uh, Thursday is another highlight in our oncology week with our multidisciplinary oncology conference. And there are subspecialized conferences that are also available uh, for the residents. So in summary, uh, the oncology at Wisconsin uh, has a number of unique advantages. Uh, we certainly uh, are a, a group that does a lot of bread and butter oncology, but also deals with more complex cases, really giving the residents a broad range of exposure. There are also, a, uh, in addition to this um, diversity of cases uh, that we do, uh, we not only do minimally invasive, uh, but the residents always also become adept at performing open surgery as well, which is critical in this day and age. And then finally, we have an experienced faculty that's really focused on uh, resident education and training. Uh, and for that reason, uh, our residents come out of here being very well versed in urologic oncology. Well, it's been a pleasure presenting the program, and we look forward to seeing you uh, at an interview here at UW.